Hello everyone, welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily Runs. It's really late. I should be in bed, it's a work night. But I want to play Isaac. We have... <laughs> Blood Rites, the Empress card, but also the uh, Black Lotus, which gives you one of each type of HP. Uh, a red, a blue and a black. Since we now apparently have three blue hearts, that means we started as Eden, by the way, with two spirit hearts. So now we have a red heart as well, which is something we can give to the deal with the devil. Do I want to take Yum Heart? Yes. Why? <laughs> when it's a choice between um, fucking Blood Rites or Yum Heart, I think Yum Heart is obviously the defensively most valuable item. Blood Rites, I think, takes a full heart of damage. But it does damage everything on the room. But we can't use it to deal ourselves red heart damage because it it would take a full red heart and the game won't let you do that. You literally can't. Uh, you can't take your last half a red heart on purpose. In fact, I don't think you can at all lose your last half a red heart. You can only be in a position where you've just gained a red heart, but it doesn't have any HP in it yet. Now, I'd really like a bomb. Probably not going to find him in there. Our damage, by the way, really good. Looks like we have pretty high damage tiers. Well, why don't we have a look? We've got two on our damage score and two on our speed, apparently, but I still feel quite slow. I want to get rid of those corn flies first. Because they, they're a bit more unpredictable in their brownian motion. This is an XL floor as well, so... We haven't taken any damage, but the goal, of course, is to take no red heart damage. Get that over there. Kind of hoping to have been able to shoot that bomb into that, that popcorn there, but it didn't work. Get two item rooms as well. One of which is this son of a bitch, which is not brilliant, but what I am going to do is bring it down here and use it as a bomb. I'll show you what this does. I don't think we've seen it before. You put it down, and then it explodes. Oh, small rock. Amazing. And a dime, which I hadn't mentioned before, but now we're on 15 cents. We could go to the shop. I'm probably not going to. I'm probably going to go to the shop on the next... Well, we should check it out, right? I mean... It could have something amazing in it, which makes up for the idea that we couldn't then go to the arcade on the next floor. And play on a blood bank. Then we only have one HP anyway, and we're probably about to sell it to the deal with the devil. Because on the next L floor, you get the deal with the devil on on the basement XL. Basically is what I'm trying to say there. So we may not even have a single red heart when we go down to the next floor. Which may make you wonder why, why the hell have you got yum heart, which heals you for... You know, red hearts. Kind of want to see what that scent is. Uh, let's see what that card is. It's the Joker card. Okay, well, we take the Empress into the boss fight. Holy shit. See that, Joker? Motherfucker. Get out of my face. Our creep is really helping as well. Headless Baby was a free item that we don't have to pay for or anything. It's not even... A, it's a devil item, but we didn't have to go through the deal with the devil to use it. The Empress card, uh, which I had mistaken for the, uh, the High Priestess, and I've done that before. Gives us Horror Babylon for the room, but it's still correct to use it on the boss. Again, it's quite late, and I've just done the Darkest Dungeon episode where I completely forget where I'm actually going, so there's that. I can possibly even maybe want you to wait until the next boss to see if we want to use it on this one. We'll use the Sun card to get rid of apparently half of Monstro's HP in one go. And we'll try and get him to land on the creep of Headless Baby, which is underrated, I think, at least by the people that I watch. Um, Headless Baby is a definite take. Syringe's good. No Krampus. No Krampus. Amazing. I am going to take Sin Robes. And Sister Maggie can get fucked. I mean, we don't need Yum Heart, but it could it could carry us later in the game. Let me take the joke. Um... Because, you know, over time we're going to start getting worse. Unless we level up massively well, which is possible, and if that happens, of course, every everyone will be doing that. But, um, I mean, we've got Sin Robes and Small Rock on the first floor, so we're not doing badly already. 
We have Headless Baby doing us creep damage, so anything that steps near us will you know, really feel it. We do get red HP back, so at least there's a value in that. Uh, but over time, I expect that either we get rid of all our red HP and maybe replace our Young Heart with a better spacebar item, which I would suggest is the most likely outcome from having Young Heart. And it's entirely possible that there's a... Oh, you popped up right next to me, you absolute dick. That's the first damage we've taken in the whole game, and we took two damage at once. That's not good enough. It's entirely possible, is what I was going to say, that there's a path through this run which makes the Blood Rites, which we started with, actually really, really good. I have to be honest, I doubt it. This feels like a randomised Eden run, um, rather than a curated run. I mean, I assume that most daily runs are randomised, right? They're just a normal run, it's just that everyone gets the same one. Ugh, this room, though. Let's be patient here. So, I don't, I don't expect that it's been set up to have a good way through it that makes great use of blood rights. What's happening? <laughs> My fingers are doing what they want. Oh, shit. Wow. This room went really well, but my, my mind, my subconscious animal brain took over. We have got four, oh, we've got 15 cents now, and we can get into both the shop and the item room. And I actually honestly think that starter deck is worth the money. And we get a get out of jail free card, which can get us into here for free, but I'm not going to use it for that. And there's five bombs, which can also cause us to have uh, a nice amount of consumables. Especially if we get golden bombs. Now, if we get golden bombs, do we min-max by firing bombs off until everyone's sick of it? No. No, I really don't think that we do. That sounds like a really, really boring way of playing the game. But, I confess that if we find golden bombs on any particular floor, it's going to be very tempting to use them more than I would normally be, you know, prepared to use bombs. Golden bombs obviously allow you to... Oh, no, no secret very well. <laughs> That's a single shot from me holding down the button when I came in. Golden bombs obviously let you use the bombs for anything that you would normally use bombs for. Looking for secret rooms, etc, etc. But there are things that you would not normally use bombs for unless you had a lot. Like just randomly blowing up rocks looking for crawl spaces, for example. If we got golden bombs, there's a good chance that I will be amongst the people who are trying to... Uh, use bombs as much as possible while still being able to legitimately claim that this is a valid use of bombs. In order to get you know, consumables out of them, because we do have glitter bombs, which is prize bombs, and I managed to keep that particular track of conversation going throughout an entire boring ass Gurdy fight, so I hope you all appreciate that shit. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely definitely a better spacebar item, bar none. Do I want to try and get that golden chest? No, because we don't have any keys. Fuck it, let's go feel a bit slow, um, although I know that the clock is way behind us right now, and we've probably had a, a couple of extra minutes, but don't forget the later floors are going to be... Ooh, bad. Boney's uh, kicking my ass today. Um, later floors are going to be slower than earlier floors. Finally a, a gauntlet ring, actually. We haven't actually seen one of these for a while. It's a champion one. Well, let's do some bombs. Bombs don't seem to be doing as much damage as I would really approve of them doing. You know, I think there's a certain low threshold of damage that bombs should be doing. And this is below them, so they're not going to pass their bomb SATs, is what I'm really saying there. That was a, a really amazing dodge, if I was trying to catch the bullet. Um, but, well that was brilliant as well, because I just walked straight over creep. Which in fairness had only just appeared, but still. There's no fucking excuse for that shit. Chubb did not attack me when I expected him to. And I got hit there again. Alright, pay some attention. You're, you're tilting a little bit. Taking far too much damage on what should be a simple room. You may have been spooked by the fact that these are champion bosses. Don't be spooked by that. Chill out. It's cool. There is no reason to be spooked by champion bosses. This is only the Binding of Isaac. Yes, it's late. Yes, you're a bit tired. You brought it on yourself. You just have to work through it, right? Chill out, calm down. Make sure you're getting the right plays in at the right time, checking for secret rooms in all the right places. 
Perfect. Few extra coins. Don't mind if I do. Look, you're back in the game. You've got your fundamentals down, right? The one that I didn't expect to give me money gave me money. And the one I expected to give me money didn't give me shit. Strength card. I mean... I don't have any... Uh, what did I do that for? I don't got any red hearts left. That's a shame. Um, that was very lucky. Uh, mostly the flies did that for me. Get out of jail free or strength. Uh, what can get out of jail free really do for us? What has get out of jail free ever done for us? Well, mostly it can save us a key. I'm not sure it gets us out of a room that we're locked in, even though it's called you know, get out of jail free. Don't know. Obviously, I want to use the Joker. I don't want to go all the way back to that room to pick up the strength card if we turn out to need to use the Joker on this floor. And what do I mean by that? Well, I think that's better. Um, if we don't get a deal with the devil on this floor, we just use the Joker card to force it. It doesn't count as a door opening, and it's the opening of the door that is the thing that, you know, deals with... that the chances of getting the deal with the devil actually deal with. So... Whenever you get the door open, your chance of the door on the next floor being open is down to 25%. But if you get a deal with the devil by other means, like a red chest or um, this joker card that we've got... Ooh, PhD actually is very good. Even though... Oh, I just realised we don't have any pills because I took starter deck. That's okay. Uh, couldn't re-roll it, I suppose, so it doesn't matter just costs us a few points. So by getting a deal with the devil without the door opening, the um, the door's as likely to open on the next floor as it would have been if we hadn't had the deal with the devil. If the door does open, we've still got a 25% chance on the next floor. Etc, etc. Uh, just don't spend the money. Don't, don't lose the points. We could have bought a key. I have a good feeling that there'll be keys, yep. And secret rooms with fuck all in them. And a boss which is Chad. I've not been too doing too well against enemies that charged me down today, so... I want to be a little bit cautious of Chad here. Try and keep away from nearby uh, opportunities for Chad to rush me down when I don't have the time to react. We're going to get little Chad. We didn't get a deal with the devil, so we switched to our Joker card and pressed the Q key, and we get a Krampus fight, which is exactly what I always wanted. Thank you. How did you know? It must be Christmas. I'm in the wrong place. It's okay. I got hit once, but I didn't chase the rainbow. I didn't chase the um, the, the beam around like I sometimes do, and completely fucked myself up by doing that. So, you know, we're learning. We only got hit once in a Krampus fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure Head of Krampus is not what we want. So we're going to try and take this and leave. There we go. Head of Krampus is a decent item. By the way, we're going to Mom's heart. Or it lives, I suppose. We can get beyond that with the shovel or an Awas rune. So we'll look out for those. We've been doing alright on secret rooms today as well. But otherwise, how the heck are we going to get by? A, look, a lucky penny. That's, that's nice. Everyone likes a lucky penny. You know, how are we going to uh, ensure that we don't stop at Mom's heart if we don't have a way of getting past? We're also going to be doing boss rush, but not hush. And we do seem to be on time for boss rush, even though this particular joker here is uh, costing us all the time in the world. Please. Thank you. Also, also... I've forgotten, so talk amongst yourselves. Um, I'd like a tears upgrade. We've, we've got a decent amount of damage, but it hasn't really improved that much recently. On the last floor, we got PhD, which I only realised afterwards is literally zero use to us. Unless we pick up something like Little Baggy, but why would I do that? Only by accident would I do that. Which is not impossible. I could still pick it up by accident, but... You know, I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to do it on purpose, and it doesn't seem very likely that I'm going to just spend 25 cents on a random item in the shop if I if I don't know what it is. Uh, 15 cents, I should say. More bombs is great, though. Because they're all uh, shiny bombs. 
Have we got stuff inside? Well, some of them have stuff inside. It's a tombola. Tombola? It's gond gondola, right? I learned this. Because when I was a kid, I once said gondola. And my mum was like, uh, it's gondola. I'm like, what do you mean it's gondola? That's probably because you're from, you know, the south, right? You southern people. You say your words all funny like. Ooh. Okay, chest. But no, it's gondola, not gondola. And then you expect me to believe it's tombola, not tombola. I mean, you know, make your mind up, English language. Keep in hold of the two of diamonds here, FYI. Because as long as I'm not spending money, every penny is now two pennies. And I, I gained the spirit heart out of that room as well. So there you go. Good play. Well done. No! That's obviously some kid has been told to go, no! I love it when you get these large, um, large enemies <laughs> because you hear the sound that they sped up to make the uh, original sound, the new sound. Plus. <laughs> it sounds just like some little kid's gone. Mah! Which is probably exactly what happened, but you know. Perthro. Excellent. Could have done with that on the last floor. But I'm going to take the Midas touch. Uh, it will mm, synergize extremely well with some sort of invincibility. Ah, yes. I was hoping to learn what shape this edge was here, because maybe there's a secret room here. Uh, I think that would have found it. Oh, we might as well take it. And here's the boss. What are we on? Depths 1. BFFs? I don't really want it. I've got Perthro and 2 of Diamonds. We could Perthro this, but I'm going to Perthro the boss instead. Give ourselves plenty of time to... Uh, Whoa! It's the champion version I hadn't realised. Okay, what the fuck do I do here? I've never fought the champion version in a way that I am sort of required to. What is happening? I do not know the patterns of this joker at all. Where the fuck do we stand, though? Here? Yeah, that seems to work. I mean, I'm just going to stay here, if that's okay. Man, that was a bad fight. I'm not per-throwing this, but we could per-throw the... Uh, uh, I mean, this could be good as well. We get in. We've picked up two black hearts for it. We're going to be doing mom's... Yeah, there's enough devil deals left that I think I'm happy with this. But I think I might... No, I'll keep it. The next floor, we know what we're getting on the boss, but we don't know what we're getting in the item room. So, there's still an opportunity to use the Perthro rune. Plus... There's another floor after it with a boss item, but no item room item. Can, can you die? See, we haven't um, we haven't scaled with the game really. We're doing okay. Our damage is not horrible. It's not a train wreck by any means, but <clears throat> that was really bad damage. I just walked full tilt into it. Uh, it's not a train wreck, but it's also not really brilliant. We're not wondrously destroying our foes. We're not vanquishing them by any stretch of the imagination. So We need to get stronger, but I don't know if it's going to be in the cards, to be fair. On the cards? I've listened to Northern Lion so much that he says in the cards, but I'm pretty sure the phrase is on the cards, at least in the UK. And I am from the UK, hence my uh, rather bland, but still quite reasonably dis distinguishable accent. Uh... I'm pretty sure we say on the cards, but I am honestly questioning myself. <laughs> okay, well, the fly got that, so that's... Pretty good. I mean, our fly is doing a great amount of damage, and if we can rack him up, I'm, I'm happy to do so. Our um, boss item basically paid for our devil item. And our devil item, which is the goat head, will guarantee us more devil deals, or at least more devil doors. Um... Which is obviously going to cost us HP to take. So, I mean... I want to try that chest, but I'm not going over the spikes, so... Fuck it. I'd also like a key. And there are many over there. It may be worth taking the two hits. It's two, uh... It's two hearts of damage, because uh, spikes do a full heart. So, that's upsetting. 
guess we just keep going until we find a natural key. Right, A, a flat. Get it? Na key? Then. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> what is happening? Hit it. It's too fast. We can't be killed. We killed it. Well, walking into stuff is not necessarily a great idea, but in that case. I mean, it's a bad idea in this situation because we really don't know what our HP is. So we don't know how many times we can do that. We had several when we came down. We spent three of them. So I think we've got six left, but then we got hit once, which used one. So now we have five. I think. I don't quote me. So, uh, I realised what was happening, but I couldn't get out of the way in time because I had too much momentum. Oh, that was a shit. Get this down here. Excellent. Thank you. Our flies just carried us through that room. Which they shouldn't have needed to do. And also, how come we've only got 30 seconds left to beat this boss? Can we talk about this? I was doing really, really well. And then all of a sudden, we had five minutes when we went into the previous uh, boss fight. And then where did the time go all of a sudden? So we need a way out, which is not our two of diamonds or perfect room. We also need keys. So any, uh, any cards you'd like to give me, I'd be grateful for. Where the fuck is our boss fight? Have I gone completely the wrong way? I can't have done. We can't beat the boss in 10 minutes, so no uh, no boss rush for us, unfortunately. Which is a real shame, because I was actually right on time. In fact, I was early for boss rush. But this happens, you know. I, I, I don't know where the time goes, but it's not like I've gone slowly. I haven't lingered or dawdled on any room, except that one I couldn't figure out, but... You know, we just walked into the enemies and they died. So boss rush is actually gone. It's literally impossible to get to it now. So there's no point going to the boss fight. We might as well try and find some keys. You know, get get this item room. <sighs> find out what we're going to win. Can't reach that. I'd like to be able to get to either the item room. I mean, we could just walk over that now. We have... <laughs> I, uh, I flinched. Oh, I'll tell you what. We've got so many coins now that we can spend a lot and still get back up to 99 cents. Even if we... Uh, by using the... What was that? By using the two of diamonds there. I don't know what caused that noise. I'm a little bit... <laughs> a bit freaked out by it. Plenty of red hearts, which I don't need. Come on now, just give me a key. Anytime you like. I mean, we play it to 50 cents, basically. Oh, bombs. Thank you. And then we use the two of diamonds. I can't believe that didn't give us any keys. But at the same time, I can quite willingly believe that didn't give us any keys. The arcade could give us keys, though. That's one, right. So we use this on the shop. Well, we might as well do this room while we're here. I mean, we're not, uh... We're not saving up charges or anything. There's no reason not to do this room. We will be going back via the shop, so... We should try and find more keys, basically. See if we can do them both without having to worry about whether there's a key or not. That's the other thing I was thinking of. Self-sacrifice rooms. When do we, uh... When do we bite the bullet on them? I mean, we have missed, um... Boss Rush. Maybe it's worth doing it now. Because we have literally no opportunity to do otherwise. Uh, two of spades basically gives me the key I want. Might as well keep going just for shits, I suppose. So we use the two of diamonds now? Sure. Why not? It's not going to get us more than 99 cents. So, we got as many points as we could ever have possibly got out of it. I think Sissy Longlegs is actually good enough, because it's a passive item that causes us to get passive spiders. Well, not passive spiders, but passively we gain spiders. Um... Might as well take the key as well. So do we want to self-sacrifice? I think not, mostly because I don't know how much HP I've got. Mostly because I haven't taken the uh, Perth the Polaroid. So it's not guaranteed that we sort of survive it. Don't want to get hurt. Um Okay, never mind. 23 minutes to the mom fight, although I did start dawdling once I'd realised we could- Oh my god, we could do this. 
course we can. We can walk into the mom foot, because it doesn't do contact damage. And use Midas Touch to beat the shit out of it. That's amazing. Oh, we don't even get the stampy damage. Well, maybe we would have when that happened. But still. Did get hit. Uh, not proud of that. But also, who cares, I guess. We're not killing this thing even remotely fast enough, so that's a bit of an issue for me right now. It's a bit of a sore point. There we go. We'll take this. We get our deal with the devil, which is not Krampus. Obvs. I think we can survive this. If we die now, I apologise, but I don't care. Okay. Like, I, I wasn't gonna... <laughs> wasn't gonna not take it. We do have 2 HP left, so we're almost certainly gonna die. In a minute anyway. I think the mark is enough of a damage upgrade for the for the womb right now to make it worth the, the cost slightly. It's difficult because we don't have any replenishable HP. We've only got our um, spirit hearts. No red hearts is what I'm saying. Fuck! Don't know what to do. Got really confused by the trajectory of these things. Uh, there must have been a sweet spot to stand in, but I didn't find it. Right, everything's dead. Just uh, don't get hit. It's easy. You've done it before. You can do it again. XL. No. Maze. Ob. Because you just got fucking mazed. Yo, though. Ah! Too hard. That's a really bad score. And that's a really loud waveform from when I just made that noise of despair and agony and tragedy and pain and hate. That was difficult. Uh, I took far too much damage and I am slightly embarrassed, but also I did say I'm very tired and now I'm even more tired. I'm going to bed. You should too. Uh, tomorrow, I might do this again. <laughs> I'm going to be really tired and get cranky and sleepy. and oh, Pleasant dreams, everyone. See you tomorrow.